Client portfolios allow you to track and analyze the performance of client-held assets, giving you insights into each portfolio's gains, losses, and position breakdowns for more informed portfolio management decisions. You can structure your client's assets in households, portfolios, and accounts. Client portfolios will be housed in the homepage, which we're looking at here on the screen, and you can create portfolios through various different methods. By pressing Add New and Create Portfolio, you can create portfolios from scratch, which is manual. You can use our CSV upload. You can import PDFs, and you can also connect to an integration. The list of supported integrations can be accessed by pressing this button or going to the profile settings and going to integrations. Pressing the connect button will give you the instructions on how to set up and create portfolios using an integration. The PDF upload is simple. You press the upload tile, you drop in your PDF, and Coifin automates the creation process for you. For the purpose of today's video, we're going to go through the CSV upload flow by pressing CSV import. I'm now going to drop in my file. All we require here is a symbol and a quantity. You can also add in the average cost and the purchase date as well. The next step will confirm the column mapping in your CSV. This looks all good, so I'm going to press next. We'll then surface any invalid rows that you might have, but mine looks good, so we'll submit this now. And you'll now be taken to the portfolio edit window where you can see all of your lots displayed. If you want to edit any of the columns, you can do so. If you want to add additional lots, you can press the add lot button. And you can see here we have the structure of a portfolio which houses accounts. So for this portfolio, we're going to call it Ronald Douglas. And then we have one account which we will call IRA. If we wanted to add additional accounts under this portfolio, we can do so by pressing this plus button. So just to demonstrate that, I'm going to create a new account called Taxable Ronald Douglas. And we're just going to add 50 shares of NVIDIA as well as $50,000 in cash. So on the left hand side, you can alter the portfolio currency. You can change the benchmark as well as adding advisor fees and everything else looks good here. So I'm going to create the portfolio. You will then be taken to the portfolio details screen. So we can see that we have the IRA here and we have the taxable account grouped as well as all the information on the lots. And I can expand those lots as well if I want to see the underlying information. The profit page will allow you to build an overview of the portfolio. If I want to click into an individual account, I can do so by clicking the IRA. You'll now see that we're inside of the account. And I can go back up to the portfolio level by clicking this breadcrumb menu item up here. In this table, you can add columns, all of the available ones you'll find in our watch list selection. You can group the table. So if I want to ungroup this and look at it on a flat basis or by sector, I can do so as well. And you can add summary rows as well, such as sum and portfolio weighted average. You can build multiple views in this table as well. By default, you will have one called profit and loss, but you can create new views to cycle through as well. The exposure page will break down all of the exposures in the portfolio. So we can see we have a security type exposure here, which shows me 43% weighted to the SPY ETF. We have instrument type, asset allocation, equity sectors, and industry breakdowns. If at any point you want to view these exhibits versus the benchmark, you can press the toggle here on the right hand side, which will turn this into a bar chart and compare it against the chosen benchmark. You also have exposure exhibits for things like regions, countries, fixed income sectors, credit quality and maturity as well. Hypothetical performance will break down the hypothetical returns of the current holdings. And you can view that over various different time periods. The risk tab breaks down quantitative metrics such as Sharpe, Sortino, and Calma ratios, as well as some context on top drawdowns and stress tests. You also have this handy drawdown chart here as well. The holdings matrix will show you the underlying X-ray exposures to any funds that you own, as well as some fund overlap context as well. So we can see here that I have a direct holding of 12% in Meta, but I also own a fair amount of Meta through SBY, QQQ, and some other ETFs. Heading back to the client portfolio homepage, you can now see that the Ronald Douglas portfolio that I've created is on this homepage table. If I want to create a household for the Douglas family, I can press add new, create household, and we'll call this household the Douglas household. It's USD currency, benchmark is SPY, and we can add an advisor fee there as well. So creating this household will now add the Douglas household to the table, and I can move this portfolio to the Douglas household so that it now fits under that umbrella. 
The benefit of the household is that I can house multiple portfolios. So I've added Regina, Ronald's wife, to this household. And it means I can now roll up the analytics to a household level or break it down to the portfolio or account level. So if I click into the Douglas household, you can now see that we're aggregating all of the underlying portfolios and accounts. I can also click into Regina's IRA, and now I'm at the account level. And I can come back up to the portfolio level, which houses her taxable and her IRA. Anything that is not assigned a specific household will fall under the category of no households.